a cauliflower ear, right? Sorry, it's gonna burn now. You doing okay? Yeah, I'm fine. This actually wasn't that bad. Well, I'm not through yet. Can I do the same thing on the front now? Same thing, a pinch and a burn. Sorry. You can't help it, right? No, other than putting you to sleep, there's no way exactly. to do this painlessly. And yep. Putting you to sleep for this is ridiculous. It's just a waste of time, you know. Well, you'd be in the surgical center for a better part of a day. I don't want to waste a day on this. It's two of us. <laughs> right? Like, yeah. right, so now you can help me by reaching up and just holding this gauze there. How should I hold it? Just like that? I just don't want it to bleed on here. Just like that. I'm going to bring the chair up and I'm going to leave it alone for a little while. We're waiting for the anesthesia to kick in my ear. trying to get out of there, the blood that was under the skin. Oh. It's all blood from when he injured himself. Oh, so... So that's what elevated the skin of the of the ear. That's why the skin was looking so puffy. Okay. Because it was being pushed out by that. See, now it's coming down. Yes. Let me have a clamp here. I have a small uh, hemostat. Still swelling of the skin, but the blood that was underneath is gone. And he has a little blood underneath as well. There. Uh -huh. No, that's just bruising. Oh, yeah. How much do you want? Yeah, I had a lot of bruising. Let me know. Just give me the whole thing. Da, da, da. I just got into that. I don't know how much I want. There. What I need, though, is a uh, pickup. what I'm doing now. If you're not numb, I don't think you're numb where I am. But it's not going to be anything sharp. Right. And what is that? It's packing. Ah. But what is it for? To retain the contours of his ear.
won't be able to hear out of this here with all this stuff going on. I presume that's apparent. Yeah. Okay, let me have the, um, I need a dental sponge, a Keith needle, and a So it's gonna continue draining? No, well, right now it's draining. I'm gonna put pressure on it. Mm -hmm. If I didn't do anything else, yeah, I would continue to drain. Mm -hmm. No, you don't want to stitch it, you want to leave it open. Uh, Actually, I want to have a rubber band. <clears throat> okay, so we can continue close clean. You want to leave it open so that any blood that does form has a way out. Oh. I'm going to put a drain in it to keep that from healing. If I didn't put a drain in it, then it would be healed well, probably in a couple of days. That's too soon. Because uh -huh. I'm just swallow it back up. Well, if you have a way for it to get out, it, it you know, follows the path of least resistance. out Friday. Oh, we have to come back on Friday? Yeah. Oh, good to know. Have my homie come in, please. Yeah, the drain needs to come out. Oh, that's what you put inside. That's drain. the drain right there. Yeah. It's a rubber. It's a sterile rubber band. Mm -hmm. But that'll keep the wound from healing so that any blood that accumulates has a way out. Excellent. Plus there's gonna, you're gonna see there's gonna be pressure on his ear in a minute. Right in yes. She's on the phone? Yeah, I, I told her to come in. quick process. I mean, I'm not through yet. No, no, I know, but it's not like hours. Oh, no, no. Oh. So, uh, I got a rubber band in it, okay. and I want that to come out on Friday. Oh, I just started this over everywhere, okay. And I'm going to probably go wrap around them and it's going to be, I'm going to suture a couple of dental sponges. I think you'll be able to just pull that out though. Perfect. I'll try to have it so it's coming out from under the sponges. Okay, sounds good. Okay, good, that was it. Thank All right, cool. Back to work. Turn a little. going to be through with me until uh, after Monday. There's other things that are going to have to be done here. 
Oh yeah? Yeah. Like what? Well, Friday you gotta come back and have the drain removed. Yeah. And Monday you gotta come back and have these removed. Oh. So Friday, one thing, to have the drainage removed, and then Monday to have that removed? Yeah. Oh. Um, no, no, mi amor, no te preocupes. Tú eres más importante. So when will be the last... Uh, um, it's going to depend on how things go. Yeah. Let's so say. if all goes well, mm -hmm. Monday is what you could do for me pinch this pinch these together so we're tired. Take two hands though. If everything goes well then Monday could be the last day. Can we talk right? Let me finish yeah, it. Yeah. Okay, we'll talk about that in a minute. I need a bandage scissor now. That's the most important part of what you just said. Well, if there's no pressure, it doesn't work. Exactly. It's got to be bigger than that. It doesn't have to be sterile. away from placing at a nationals and then one of my ears is going to explode if I feel like it's okay. You're more important. This is... Alright, you're coming up now. Uh, move away from the right now. Explain to people when they see this. You don't have to. <laughs> Are you, is, it should go under his ear, not over. Is it? It's under. Yep. You can take a few days off, you know, just relax, home, watch TV. I don't or... think it's going to hold it anymore. Slips off, and it's not going to be helping anymore. And this pressure is really critical. I think you can probably cut that now. Just give me a piece of regular.
Now I'm stuck in your knife. Close the tape. And it all together. All right, put your head back a little. I put, do I have any hair? Am I pulling your hair? Feel some hair. Oh yeah, I can see it. I can't see anything. closing okay. eyes, I'm pulling against you. I don't want to poke in the eye. Yep, got it. Work of art. This is good for sympathy from your female friends. <laughs> Slides down. It's okay to work it up a little, got it. but you got to be careful not to knock it off, or we'll have to put it back on. You okay. It's gonna give you a little bit of a headache, probably. So washing the hair, as you can see, would be a little difficult. Yeah, very difficult. So I think you're just going to have to be a little grungy. More so than usual. What about taking off like sweatshirts and stuff? That's fine? Yeah, just be careful. That's on pretty tight. Okay. That's the whole point, of course. Uh, that, uh, I don't think it'll get knocked loose very easily. It's uh, an elastic kind of a thing. Take the dressing off and pull that rubber band. The stitches that go all through the ear are going to reach that uh, left in. So that'll come out on Monday when I see you. Yeah, I'll be here Monday. Okay. 
So Friday for the drainage and Monday? Monday for the uh, those white things that I soaked right through. Uh -huh. It's actually better not my eye that you adjusted it, thank you. But well, you can you can kind of work at it, but just look at me. Work at it like that. Don't, like don't, from the side there? Well, from underneath. You okay. can push it up a little. Try to stay, stay away from the ear itself. Okay. You on the left side will be more difficult to get on the right. You may want to try to do that now too, in front of the doctor to see if that's the right way, the way you, you're you going to do it. Like this? Yeah, you just, can just work it up, not too far, because you go too far, it's going to come off. And then we got a problem. When did the ax when did this actually swell? How long? A few days? Weeks ago. Weeks? Well like actually swell up again probably like a few days ago. Thank is you. this coming off today? Like? I'm taking off the bandage and then I'm going to remove something underneath it. Okay. And I think he wanted me to replace the bandage or, or at least not removing the splints that are underneath it. But I'll take a peek and see if okay. I can do it. I will replace the bandage. Under the impression that they were going to take the um, tube today, right? Yep, yeah. yep, yeah, we're taking okay. that out. Okay, okay. okay. I think he ended maybe there because I don't see the end of it. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure where the end of it is. You gotta just unravel it. 
He's gonna feel such a relief to get that bandage out at least for a little bit. Yeah. Because it's very, very tight. Yeah. You can see the eyes. I mean, he's being so. Oh there we go. Gosh. I mean, is he gonna get, because I'm seeing that he's getting big marks right now in his forehead, I mean, is that gonna... Yeah, that will go away. Uh-huh. Or is that gonna cause more, you know, like... No, nope. it will disappear. Beautiful, thank you. Also, the the tube is already removed. Yep, I just took the tube out, and then these are basically holding pressure so that mm -hmm. the blood that was in there doesn't reaccumulate. Mm -hmm. So we'll just put a little bit of a dressing back over it, but not quite that hard, yeah. right? Because that I you could probably even do. Let me see what we have for dressing. Yeah. Yeah, come back Monday. So, does my ear still have to stay folded? It should stay in a dressing. So, yes. It is not folded in Mom Antonio the ear. Okay, it was last time. No, no. Definitely it, was. No, it's never been folded. It just feels like it. Oh, all right. I think. I'm not sure if this will make it better or worse as far as comfort goes. Well, that breathe. Yeah. Because that's 100% cotton, right? Mm-hmm. The other one was not. I think that he wanted it to stay quite tight before. Mm-hmm. So I'm not sure that this one will do that quite as well.
So I imagine that he's gonna be have to be very careful with the sleep, right? Maybe sleep up. I'll do, I'll do the same thing I've been doing for the last three days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would just continue what you've been doing. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to hold it? Oh, sure, that'd be great. Thank you. Is that okay that at the bottom is open? Doesn't bother open? me. Okay. Uh, Meaning like that you can see the... Yeah, I can see if I can like um, push that up. See what I see the little ear coming out. Or maybe more gauze or something. I'm just going to grab one more thing. Sure. Cover that up and make sure you put it Thank you. Do you think I'll be able to like shower after he takes that out? Like Probably. I've been able to wash myself, but obviously not shower because uh -huh. of the tape. He may ask you to try to keep it dry for a okay. couple more days. Yeah, fair year, enough. But um, you should at least be able to bathe the rest Yeah, that's what I've been doing. He may should say, sure, go ahead and shower. Yeah, we don't know what he's going to say. Depends on how it is after he opens and see, I guess. I wonder how much that's gonna hurt to take you out. Oh, uh, that really shouldn't hurt much. Hurts more when he's putting it in than taking it out.
feel wherever you tell me. Yeah, no, that's how it stays hot. Yeah, it's like a second skin. It wraps you up and. Mm-hmm. Good job. Look at this. Everything okay. All right. So just keep the ear dry for the yeah. next few days, and we'll take everything off on Monday. Thank you so much. Of course. I just ripped this thing. So do, you, do you want to tell her how you felt the second day? And then just, just to see if that's normal. Um, well, the first day I obviously had a headache, but I think that's just because of the wrap or whatever. It just okay. was killing me. The second day I was I was feeling better. Okay. And then just the third day I think I just got a little headache. Yesterday I just got a little headache, but I mean, I don't know. Okay. And that was it. I was taking some painkillers, but I don't know if that's good or bad. The, the first day. Um, it's okay to take to, you know, some kind of... I wasn't taking, like, strong stuff, just, like, Tylenol and Advil. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. That's reasonable. The first day was very, very bad. Yeah, it was like, pretty bad. Yeah, the he pressure... Was, yeah, it was annoying. Was it. I just wasn't used to the ear being like that ever, either. Yeah, I know. But it's better than, like, my ear blowing up like it was before. It was pretty bad before. <laughs> yeah. So this should take care of that. Um, and it should just get better and better if for any reason it's getting worse, the pain's getting worse, you're getting fevers, nausea, vomiting, anything like that, give us a call. Yeah, thank you. Don't move or you get a haircut. I'm not much of a bummer. Skin, did it? No. Okay, that should take care of itself. So. Yeah. And I'm going to take you back in the chair now. Okay. <clears throat> Deforming and it's permanent. Yep. Are there different ways to do, I mean, different techniques? To well, what they do, mommy, isn't like safe. I'm not going to condone it, what they're doing. What? Oh, you're talking about getting removed this? Well, she's uh, asking me a question. Are there different techniques to do the draining? Well, you got to, uh, some people yeah, use a needle to just yeah. suck the fluid out. That, that, rarely works. Uh, so basically you got to cut the skin. You saw what came out. That yeah, was old yeah. clot. Yes. If that's left in there, it har it hardens, it solidifies. Like he has a little bit on the other ear. Yeah, look at that. You, you mentioned that last time. Yes. Hold oh, still.
That's just from the uh, suture, the blunt. Okay. Uh, that should be fine. Uh, this swelling of the skin now, that'll go down. It's been compressed, obviously. I think we let me see, make sure it's not oozing. It's not. Look straight. Yeah, there's a hard place in here. That's old. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but so it is, right? It is, but yeah. it's, see, that's clot that wasn't evacuated, yes. so it's solidified. Yes. Turn. This is going to get much better. The way it looks now, it looks funny because it's been compressed. There is some hard stuff in there, so this may have happened before. Did you ever do that before? Yeah. Yeah, all right, well, we got rid of what we can. Yeah. This is going to look much better than it looks now as the skin, you know, it's like it's been hard and everything's been in the way. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing special to do for that. Okay. Uh, you got to be careful, though, not to rub at it against the mat or anything because it's going to be much more susceptible to reforming now. Yeah. It's not fully healed. Look this way. So what do you think about um, what can he do, what can he not do? Uh, he, I don't want him to traumatize the ear in any way, shape or form for the next week or so. If he gets wet, it At doesn't least. matter. Oh, really? Wet is okay. Getting rubbed or bumped is not. Oh, okay. So if you're in the shower, there's no problem washing around that area. Just be gentle. She wants to know more. Like, cause they want to go. We want to go on a trip, but she's yeah. not sure if she should bring me or not. We well, have more fun with that one, probably. Huh? <laughs> I said you'll have more fun without him. Okay. Um. Now you can take him. I think cool. Did you want to go, or did you want to? Oh, I don't think. Is it there, Dominican or London? Yeah. <laughs> so. All right, so there's no need for me to have you come back unless you have a problem. Okay. Um, uh, actually, I actually have another appointment for Monday, next Monday. For him? Uh huh. For mm -hmm. a follow up because I want to see if it needs to drain again or no. I'd be in happy case, to look, but if yeah. it needs to drain, it'll swell, so it'll be obvious to you. Mm -hmm. Just so we... You're more than welcome to leave that appointment. It's uh -huh. probably unnecessary, but I'll be happy to check it. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So, um, is there any other no. thing that we need to know? Does he need to go on antibiotics? No. Does he need anything else? No, he just needs to be careful with the ear, not to, not to pump it or irritate it. Mm -hmm. He doesn't need a dressing anymore, you're probably happy to hear. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. You know well, because this, I think this has happened to you before. Oh, it has, yeah. Yeah, so there's some of it that's old. The new is gone. I don't feel any fluid under there at all. That's good. Well, my dad wanted me to ask, would, would I be fine to like, hit the, like go wrestle in September? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I, I would... I don't think you want to be running. I'm not wrestling this for, month anymore. Just take oh, fine. Yeah, September, it, it'll be what it'll be. Okay. It should be. There's still swelling in the skin, which yes. has to go down. Yeah. And um, But it looks much better. Thank you. And do you think that he will, so you say that it will still have some deformity? Yes. Because he didn't took care of that, like the first time when yeah. it happened? Well, if you don't drain the fluid, it... Uh, it forms a hard scar tissue. He, he did, I mean, there's no way to get rid of that once it's there. Okay. Um, but it looks okay. You know, it's a little, a little different. Certainly better than it did initially. Oh my and, God! And I think a lot of this is still skin swelling, and that'll go down. So it will look better than better. now. Let me just take that. Okay. And it'll probably happen again. I mean, if you're wrestling, even if you're careful, even with the. Uh, if you're wearing a head guard, you can still do it. You can still do it. Yeah. He said he was going to wear, uh, wear a head guard always now, right? Well, that would be a good idea because you are gradually losing ground. Yeah. I mean, and the ear can get really deformed if you... Yeah, I've seen it really you know, bad. A little bit of time and it doesn't go away and dealing with it afterwards is I, I don't think it can. Once it's yeah, my friend's ear is full. It's just out. Yeah. Well, it's a 
It's a Saturday hazard of hours. wrestling. Yeah, it's a Saturday hour. But you can certainly minimize those the incidents by wearing a headgear. Yeah. And getting it taken care of quickly. If yeah. It, if and when it happens again. Exactly. Because you know, whatever, I mean, if it wasn't drained yeah. this time, uh, well, you, you know, you have an error would, would be pretty bad. Yeah. So is there any way, I'm just laying your hands, is there any way that he could regain his regular, like his normal shape in his ears? I don't think so. Uh, you can lift the skin off of the cartilage. Yes. Uh, some of that plastic surgeon to the skin. And with a grinder, uh, grind down the the, uh, the scar tissue so it's closer to uh, normal than the normal folds in the ear. Uh, what I've seen it at, I, I was never really impressed with how much of an improvement it made. Oh. And and I wouldn't do anything until after the wrestling is done because that would be ridiculous. Yeah. So yeah. once you're through wrestling for good, yeah. Uh, then you know, go talk to a plastic surgeon see if they have any uh, any. Maybe experience with that mm -hmm. um, and I think I'd leave it at that for now okay okay all okay. right thank you it's not too deformed now no no now it's not too bad it's gonna get better than it is now anyway yeah. okay thank you